Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiny Studio. I hope that you are having a great day. This is a vintage coach obsession video. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Tiny Studio. If this is your first time entering the Tiny Studio to watch videos about my vintage coach collection, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of when I upload more videos about my vintage coach obsession. Okay, and if you are returning to the tiny studio and you haven't already subscribed, my God, what are you waiting for? I know you are fabulous and I know that you want to enjoy all of the fabulousness here in the tiny studio. So go ahead and subscribe. Wow. You'll be happy that you, you'll be happy that you made that decision. Okay, so if you are returning to the tiny studio, then you will recall a package that I received about two weeks ago, and it was a package that was on my unicorn wish list. Okay, and let's talk about that wish list now. What's on my unicorn wish list? All right, it looks at something like this. It looks a little something like this. One, the stewardess bag, okay? But pre-creed, which means anything before 1994, I would prefer an 80s or 70s stewardess bag. Number two, the Taft Number three, the ramp. Number four, the plaza bag. And what was my number five? Mm. I can't believe I forgot what my number five bag is. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. But maybe it'll come to me soon. So anyhow... What was also on that unicorn wish list was the vent vintage coach legacy legacy zip bag, also known as the style number nine nine six six. So that was on my unicorn wish list as well. However, I was able to cross that off my list when I found a legacy zip. 9966 in my price range and I was able to jump on to that deal and so she arrived I showed the package in another video and um, I think I opened it I did I opened it and so you got a chance to see what it looked like and I told you all the things that I was going to do to her and I was going to give you an up I said I was going to give you an update on what she looks like after the whole process. So without further ado, here is the new addition to my family here in the tiny studio. Here she is. The vintage coach legacy zip style number 9966. Isn't she beautiful? Mm -hmm. She has feet. She is a beauty. So, as you saw, she's stuffed. And the reason why um, she's stuffed is because I wanted to restore her shape. Because when she arrived to the tiny studio, she was kind of out of shape. Um, she had some issues. Some of those issues was the fact that I think that she had like some cat hairs in her. It was something going on. She had a, like a smell to her, an odor. 
But of course, these items are coming from people's homes. They've probably sat at the bottom of closets and attics, in basements and boxes and storage. You know, and then, you know, sometimes they're sitting in warehouses of thrift stores and Goodwills. And so things happen, things occur. So um, I was able to clean her thoroughly on the inside and on the outside. I was able to clean her with a good leather cleaner called Lexol and I was able to condition her and bring her back to life. I let her sit with some leather balm, leather healing balm for about uh, a week or so. Um, I put it on her three times. Well, I shouldn't say three times. I put it on her um, twice in one week. So I put it on her um, on day one and then on day five, I added some more healing balm on her because she was very, very dry. And I wanted to make sure that I got in the corners of this bag to make sure or to prevent any cracking of the leather. Um, well, let's just check her out. She is, <clears throat> she has been drying for about a week and a half now and um that's because i deep cleaned her as well now no i did not give her a bath or anything of that nature and dev the restore um the official restore over at the coach brand you know she suggests that you do bathe your vintage coach bags or what we call in the vintage coach world as dunking and the reason why I did not dunk her is because I had a bad experience in dunking a vintage bag and that would be my my baby right there um, my baby the penny bag is in the color of rust there and I had a really bad experience uh, dunking her and so I don't dunk my bags um, if that's something that you you enjoy doing and you haven't you know you receive positive results from doing so don't mind me <laughs> you do what you think is best but for me I don't think I know I don't think I will be dunking any more bags because that was a very traumatic experience for the both of us right girl it was I did a video about my experience so maybe you should go and check it out but anyway I just I just felt I didn't need to do that I felt that the cleaner that I was going to use and that I did use on her was just really all that she needed and I was correct in that assessment I used Lexol it's spelled L-E-X-O-L I used the cleaner and the conditioner on this beautiful beautiful bag and if you recall if you are returning to the tiny studio and I showed you what she looked like she was out of shape she was a totally different color <laughs> she had all kinds of things going on she had marks she had scratches she had all those different things on her and the inside had lots of cat hair and you know lots of smells and things going on so I was able to deep clean her so let's check her out here is the strap and I know in a few of my videos I called her a belt but you know hey what can you say I grew up in the 70s and this is a belt <laughs> it's a strap and um I was able to add a beautiful uh, key fob or hang tag to her as well from my my uh, my own vintage coach collection okay so let's let's unpack her as you see I have things I packed her with some of my own towels that I hand crocheted and I removed the tile the towels every three days or so just to make just so you know they were in there for a reason they were in there to in here to soak up the moisture right so I had to change them and let's take let's take everything out okay and not only did I use these 
um, tiles to soak up the moisture from cleaning the bag but I also use these tiles for another purpose and the purpose is to reshape the bag because it was out of shape I want to bring the shape or restore the shape to the bag so that's another reason why I use these tiles here's another one here's another one So, let's take a peek inside. And here she is. Look at that. I cleaned her really well. Doesn't she look great? And let's smell her. She smells really good. Oh. Ooh. Oh, she smells so good. Oh, she smells really, really good. Oh, I just love it. She smells so good. And look at her. Look at her. She's standing. She is totally reshaped. And she can stand on her own, child. That is just, oh, I'm just so impressed. So what I'm going to do for her is I'm going to restuff her with some plastic bags that I recycle. I get them, of course, from the grocery store. So I'm going to restuff her and I'm going to put her away. So... How did I clean the inside? Yes, yeah, she has some issues. Um, she has some smells and things going on that wasn't too cool. And what I did was instead of dunking her like I did the penny bag over there, what I did was I got a scrubby and some warm water and some Dawn. And what I did was I put a little Dawn on the scrubby and I began to scrub the insides really good really really well and then I got another scrubby and I was able to rinse out well also with the scrubby and a towel I was able to rinse the the soap residue and the the, the grit grime and cat hair ugh, off of the bag from the inside of the bag I was able to do all of that and then when I finished when I finished to ensure that I no longer had that smell in my bag, I used some Odoban. And the Odoban is a great product that you can use. And I think I have it right here. Here it is Odoban. This stuff is so good. Oh my God. This is some really, really good stuff. It's also a disinfectant, but it's basically an air and fabric refreshener. And it is so good on what I use it for. <laughs> I use it occasionally on my furniture, my, my furniture in the living room and the great room. But I really, truly use it on my coach bags. So what I did was while after I had finished cleaning the inside of it and before I went to get my towels to drain you know to drain the moisture from uh, or away from the interior of the bag I then used some Odoban and I sprayed it into the bag and and then Oh, it smells so good. And you just let it sit for maybe uh, a day or so. And then what I did was, um, of course, you put your towels in too. 
you got to put your towels in to soak up the moisture and then you just let it sit there and after a few days when you get ready to change your towels you smell your bag and it really should be it should not have any smells after that but you can do it again some people use something that's called um, charcoal or black rock or something you can use that um, I have used Febreze um, that works on you know minor smells um, but usually for tough smells I use the older band and it's really good you can find this I think you can find this at Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that you know you might be able to find this at um, at Walmart or something of a something like that or better yet go on Amazon you can do that as well but I think my husband picked it up from uh, the Home Depot so she is looking really really well and I purchased her at my price point which was $45 and she needed some work and I was willing to do the work and that's one thing about purchasing a vintage coach on the pre-love market we all have as uh, vintage coach lovers we all have our price points where we all know basically right off the bat what we are willing to spend on whatever product that it is or whatever um, um, style that we are we are searching for and I'm basically all of us have uh, a unicorn list and um, on my unicorn list was this particular bag and then it is the the Coach Stewardess Pre-Creed, which is anything before 1994. I would prefer something in the 80s or the late 70s. The Taft bag is on my unicorn list, wish list. Uh, the Rambler is on my unicorn wish list. The Plaza bag, ah, that's on my list, my wish list as well. Um, this bag particular, this bag here, even though it's not on my wish list anymore, I am also in the market for a black 9966 and a British tan 9966. So I'm in the market for finding her siblings. And they're not on the my unicorn wish list, those colors, but it is something that I would like to have and that I am in the market for acquiring. Um, I'm also, this is not on my wish list as well, my penny bag, but I am in the market for acquiring a navy blue penny bag and a black penny bag, but she has to be um, pre-creed or she has to be uh, early 80s and late 70s. And so that has been like, um, that has been um, a difficult search because when I do find the a penny bag that meet those requirements I find myself in a situation where the price is wrong <laughs> so I'm all I'm looking for a, a vintage coach bag but I'm looking for it in my price level and my price level doesn't uh, exceed $50 I would like to stay in the $45 range and so anywhere in that that range between uh, I want to say 40 to 50 that's where I am when it comes to purchasing vintage coach bags and since I enjoy restoring them then I don't mind I don't mind the work and I don't mind being in that price point but I understand that if some of you uh, you may not know how to restore a bag or you may not want to <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that you know there's nothing wrong with saying I just want to be able to wear my bag right out the gate there's nothing wrong with that so if that is what you like then 
your price point may be or may have to be a little bit higher than mine because you know since vintage coach has become such a saying child the prices on the pre-love market has gone up <laughs> they have gone up you know, when I started buying Vintage Coach, maybe about four years ago now, um, Vintage Coach, you could pick up a Vintage Coach bag for 25 bucks or less. But now that Vintage Coach is a thing, child, and even Coach itself, now Coach itself, the brand is out here buying up vintage bags and flipping them and putting them back on their their market back on the website for almost a thousand dollars sometimes vintage coach has become a thing so that's why you have to you know understand what your budget looks like and what your particular budget is going to uh, attract <laughs> because if you are like me and you you have a certain budget well your budget is only going to attract certain things and for me sometimes those things those items need a little bit of work but this particular bag which really surprised me yes on the outside it looked like it needed a lot of work and i was preparing myself to go into one of my my facebook groups vintage coach groups and i was i was you know ready to ask questions from other uh, coach lovers and restores i was prepared to expand my knowledge because based on the pictures that i saw on ebay of what this baby looked like but once i got her home and i saw that i could do the work myself and that it really wasn't that bad i was very very happy very very pleased at the progress so what I'm going to do very soon is I'm going to upload a video to show people how to look out here in the market for a vintage coach bag and there are a lot of dupes out here of vintage coach and like um, another vintage coach lover said in his video and I cannot think of his name he said that Vintage Coach has lots of dupes and the reason those dupes have survived so long is because they are great dupes. <laughs> they are great fakes. That's why they have survived right along with the authentic Coach bags because they are they were fantastic dupes at that time in that era. And some of those dupes are on the market today. And you have to be very, very careful as to what you're buying. And if you don't know, you could find yourself in a situation where you're spending money and you're not necessarily getting what you paid for. So thank you so much for hanging out with me in the tiny studio today. Say hello to my baby. Ah, she was on my, my unicorn list and here she is today looking good. Um, all that cleaning that I did and the reshaping. She looks so good. She is just, ah, just beautiful 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 so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my plastic bags um, that I use to that I put inside my vintage coach bags and um, I'm going to put them inside of her uh, in her interior and I'm going to put her away in my cabinet and I'm going to prepare to wear her <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so excited to wear her. I'm just so, so excited. And 
she was on my unicorn list so thank you so much for hanging out with me in the tiny studio and i will be back with another video on vintage coach obsession well my vintage coach obsession and um as i said before subscribe to my channel so that you will get an update on or notifications on when i pop into the tiny studio to talk about vintage coach and show off some of my bags you know inspire you and encourage you to get out here in these these pre-love streets and find yourself some some find your unicorns you know that's what it's all about it's all about having fun and and you know i love collecting vintage coach bags it brings me a certain type of joy and pleasure and i am going to just treasure my new baby my new adoptee all right, I'm going to hop off of here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you have any questions or comments, or as I like to always say, I'm a vintage coach lover, yes, but I am not a historian or expert on vintage coach. So if you have some information about the 9966, its origins and all of that great stuff that you would like to share with um those of us here in the tiny studio who are obsessed with vintage coach drop down in the comment section and and hit us up with some knowledge because we want to know and i want to know as well i want to know too so let us you know share your share the information with the rest of us so we can be more excited about our vintage coach collection and getting out here and uh, hunting down those beautiful beautiful unicorns on our wish list okay thank you so much for hanging out with me i am nail and i will see you next time bye bye